Hi friends, this is Fire on Pop. Another edition of Armed Citizen Stories. This one coming out of the archives of American Riflemen. And this is back in January 2007. And uh, just had the page here. Just give me a second. Uh, okay, and we're going right to the section called Armed Citizen. Okay. Once again, I haven't even looked at these yet, haven't scanned them, um, get your first reaction, uh, I may flub a few words, but uh, what the heck, that's what we're here for. So let's get right on with it. A California woman was playing the role of a getaway driver as her gang member's son looked for a home to burglarize, according to police. When the suspect found the target, he broke out, he broke the lock on the screen door and began yelling at the female occupant. The burglar gave chase as the woman led to the backyard, but she halted his advance with three rounds from a 338 caliber revolver. The intruder ran back to his mother and the homeowner phoned police. When the suspect failed to locate a hospital, the mother of the year flagged down a sheriff's deputy. The deputy, however, was responding to the victim's 911 call, apprehended mother and son. And that was in Los Angeles, Woodland Hills, California. Well, uh, yay team, 38 caliber revolver. Uh, I guess something real similar to that. This is 357, but I guess uh, three rounds from that will uh, make anybody take chase. And mother of the year, boy, she uh, couldn't get to the hospital, so flagged down a, uh, a patrol car. Good thinking. At least she saved her son's life. He may be spending some time behind bars, but at least he's alive. Anyway, let's go right along here. Police say Rodney Hendrick and his wife were sleeping when a 24-year-old man smashed the front door window, waking the couple. Mr. Hendrick went to investigate, armed with his 357 Magnum revolver. Holy mackerel. This is the day of the 357 ma Magnum revolver. Uh, let's see. And found that the suspect had left. Foolishly, the suspect soon returned and lofted a brick to the front through the front door, knocking it open. He entered the residence and Hendrick fired a single shot. The intruder died at the scene. And that happened in Bluefield, West Virginia. Uh, yeah, 357 is nothing to mess with, folks. Dan Brown believed a pair of burglars had been uh, chasing his auto repair garage had been casing his auto repair garage. Someone had to have been watching us because they came right after I left, he said. Police say two thieves confronted Brown's wife, who was alone, and demanded money. Instead, she grabbed a pole used to prop up car hoods and used it to strike the, number, the biggest intruder, who then hit her on the head as she ran toward the shop's office. She got there and pulled out the gun we kept in the drawer for protection, Brown said. The suspect properly fled. Mrs. Brown has since applied for a concealed carry permit. Way to go, Mrs. Brown. And that was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Customers were browsing the shelves at a food store shortly before closing time when three men entered the building. Police say the men waited for the customers to leave before announcing an armed robbery. Once they uh, uh, emptied the store's coffers, the robbers took a store employee to the back of the store and bound them with duct tape. With the gun aimed at his head, the store manager, who was concealed carry permit, fled himself, freed himself, and drew a 45 caliber handgun. The manager fired several times, striking his assailants twice. The injured robber died while the other suspects fled. In my opinion, if this man had not had a gun, my concern is that they would have executed these people. County Prosecutor William Forsythe said, and that was in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Good for him. A man was ex exhibiting strange behavior, hurling insults and threats randomly at passerbys. Police say he then began focusing on a single pedestrian. He threatened the man's life then and pummeled him with a volley of punches and kicks until the man fell injured to the ground. The assault victim, a concealed carry permit, the assault victim, 
A concealed carry permit holder retrieved his handgun and fired once at his assailant, who died at the hospital. He was down there minding his own business. There is nothing to think he has. He was anything but a random target, said Seattle Police Spokesman Deb Brown. That was in the Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. Police say a man confronted Rose Ann Kowalski and her 14-year-old son at their home, then bound them with neckties at the in the master bedroom, held them at knife point, and threatened their lives. The intruder began ransacking the home for jewelry and other valuables, which he placed in the family's SUV. Meanwhile, Kowalski managed to free herself and yet and untie her son. She retrieved her husband's revolver, handed it to her son, and knocked the double doors to the bedroom and locked the double doors. The incense, incensed intruder pushed at the doors partially, opening them as he waved his knife. The teenager aimed his father's pistol toward the opening between the two doors and squeezed the trigger. The armed robber dropped dead. And that was in Corpus Christi, Texas. Corpus Christi, Texas. Don't mess with a Texan. According to authorities, a man accosted a husband and wife one evening after they returned home from their business. It appears he either followed them or was waiting on them to, to get out of his vehicle, said Sheriff George H. Payne, Jr. The man stuck the hus struck the husband with a gun, then fired several shots at the couple. The man's wife, a 73-year-old grandmother of four with two great-grandchildren, grabbed her handgun and fired back. The suspect fled to a hospital where he died. I want people to know you have you have to. Well, I want people to know you have the right to protect yourself, especially from a robber that's shooting at you. Payne said, "Amen, sister." At uh, 73 years old, and you have the right to protect yourself. God bless you, Biloxi, uh, Missouri, I guess. Great stories, each one uh, superheroes in their own right, and uh, proud to be able to read these stories to you. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, once again, don't forget, these are from the archives, old copies of these magazines, but join the NRA, get the up-to-date, either electronic version or hard copy version, and uh, enjoy all the other great articles and uh, ads that are in these magazines. Support the NRA. It's the only thing that keeps us going. So, be safe out there, my friends. God bless. This is Fire on Pop. We'll see you soon. Bye now.